We are releasing VSD Divergent on June 9th. Yesterday we released VTNQ. This is VSD Divergent NQ. It has to do with the volume someday, the total, and the dynamic. And so it is a trend indicator based on the futures volume. If it's blue, it's bullish. If it is red, it is bearish. And it doesn't trade a lot. You don't see any trades on this, but it does have some time periods in which it does trade. And let's take a look. I'm going to show you how this indicator works a little bit. You could also use the indicator as a tool for scalping the market manually. I don't have a trading system that does that because the average trade profit is low and it doesn't work in every case, but it could be potentially done on a discretionary basis. This works since 2018 and it works really well since um, August of 2020, so about two years. I developed this in February, at the end of February, so the out of sample looks like this. You know, in February it didn't look that great uh, because you have all of this and then you're right here in February and you're like, I don't know about that, but it's had some out of sample. So I still have my questions about this and, you know, in a time period, this is using a $2,500 uh, stop loss, a thousand dollar profit target. So it's more uh, in line with the current index values when the NASDAQ had much lower. This is testing back to 2007. So when the NASDAQ had much lower volume, much lower ranges, those $2,500 stop, lo stop losses and $1,000 profit targets don't make as much sense. But in this type of environment, it does. And so um, you can see that it's more relevant based on the current ranges since 2018 and especially the last couple of years since mid 2020. So I'm releasing this strategy today and let's take a look here. 62, 555, 122 average trade profit and the max drawdown is 14, 255. A strategy like this is a little different because it's a high percentage of profitability and more so in recent years. You see 85% profitability in 2022. 71% in 2021, 64% in 2020. And so um, higher percentage of profitability, 82% the last 12 months with these relevant uh, profit target. The profit target is closer than the stop loss, $1,000 profit target, $2,500 stop loss. We have a diversity of exits. And so I'm going to uh, look at the last, I'm going to look at it going back to 20, uh, 18, 2020. So let's go back to 2020. Take a look at the results here in a more relevant time period. And we can take a look at the um, statistics from that point going forward. So since the beginning of 2020, 73% profitable, 2.33 profit factor. This does not include slippage and commission. I need to add that. Uh, $379 average trade profit back to 2020. And here is the equity curve. So really good results. I'm going to add slippage and commission now. And we'll go over the inputs and data settings. So these are the results with uh, slippage and commission. 354 average trade profit. Here is the equity curve. Very robust uh, average trade profit. Low drawdown, 66.40. 18,000 on the long side and 47,000 on the short side. So it specializes in taking short trades. And we may adjust this. This is the first revision. I want something that's more active, something that's maybe more balanced between longs and shorts. And you can see here um, how this takes trades. And so on a day like today, I had one loser, two winners. The loser was 2,500. Each winner was 1,000. It's still down on the day. So it's a counter trend type trading strategy. And basically the way it works is we short blues when we see red. We short, we short the blues on the dynamic when we see red on the total. And with some other rules and with some um, different thresholds values and you can see that there um, and so let's look at some other trades as well and we'll look at the input settings uh, you see VSD divergence kind of a counter trend move uh, in a downtrend so you have a downtrend but you short the rallies when there's some you short buying in a downtrend um, and you can see that um, there's one that lost. I thought that was a good entry right there. Um, market fought the trend the rest of the day and that strategy lost. And you see short trades here, long trades there. 
uh, oftentimes the market will um, it's unusual because you see a downtrend right here but the 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 volume is up so sometimes you have a net volume that's up while the trend is down uh, unusual uh, but happens it happens so downtrend here very active day uh, strong downtrend lots of short trades here um, up and then back to break even then up on the day as it shorts it uh, continuously shorts it um, the rallies so here's one uh, where the market's down on up volume and it buys that dip and so it can trade this market in different ways and look different and there's probably some better ways to make this strategy work this is the first revision and I'll have it in the portfolio calculator as well and you see once again 65,145 over 6640 drawdown since 2020 and it's not my favorite way to trade I don't like to have profit targets that are tighter than stop losses uh, two and a half to one but um, that's how this strategy works and it generates a positive equity curve and so we have a diversity of exits when we trade this so here are the inputs don't trade on holiday is true it doesn't have max daily entries it doesn't have max daily losses all these money managements for daily weekly and monthly are not included here in this in this and so um, you see the L1 and L2 dynamic values those are proprietary inputs uh, start time finish time and exit time exit on close reset time uh, you see the stop loss of twenty five hundred dollars a profit target of one thousand dollars and like I said there might be some better ways to trade this I'm releasing it now as it is though um, and putting it in the portfolio calculator with a potential updates let's look at the uh, data series uh, data edit symbol you have NASDAQ one minute on data one NASDAQ 15 minute on data two using the US stock custom session so you only have the day session this is mainly used um, for um, for the stop loss calculation average stop loss which as actually isn't used so but it is it is in the code and so we use that to measure average daily ranges for potential stop losses so VSD Divergence releasing this once again on June 9, 2022. If you have the All Strategy Access, you'll be getting this update. And if it is included in the one of the portfolios, and you don't have the All Strategy Access, you will get uh, get this if it is once again included in an updated portfolio. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks. We share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.